real shit though, man. Motherfuckers don't want to acknowledge what's, what's really going on. The streets out here, the streets are the motherfucker right now, man. And they always going big. But the industry and shit, the industry is a fucking monster, man. Once you sell your soul, well, see, it's kind of going back. I, I feel like it's going back to the whole independent label thing, motherfuckers putting themselves out. Like, if the industry really ain't gonna give motherfuckers the opportunity, then motherfuckers gotta kind of make that opportunity man, themselves. You gotta blow to your way. Yeah, if you if you if you got that mind frame, you gotta blow to. As long as you make music, you gonna have an audience. You gonna have a fan base. All right, so here's the thing, because motherfuckers always try to throw that scenario at us. You know, we was really kind of really on like the whole commercial sound and shit like that. Say if motherfuckers was like, well, if Puffy came to you with a deal or, or oh, old game. Nope. You can't say Puffy no more because motherfuckers nope. get mad. You got to call him Diddy. Nope. So if Diddy came to you with a deal or if nope. Kanye West or nope. all of that shit came at you, you know what I mean? It was like, look, I'll give, give you two mil, you know what I mean, uh, to, to, to do a joint with John Legend. You know what I mean? I'm cool, homes. Like, I'm not going to sell my integrity, homes. Like, and that's, and that's real. Y'all can call it what y'all want, man. This certain motherfucker in the industry, you couldn't pay me to fuck with. I could do that. Puff, he's one of them. Um, what's your name? Kanye? Kanye, I mean, I'm just saying now, I, that because... I fuck with Kanye on the note of his creativity. But I couldn't, I couldn't, no. I, I would turn down a deal from that name. <laughs> now, as far as, like, all right, here's, here's a partner, uh, Kanye, Common and shit. Like, Common, we could probably move to the bleachers and get some light over there because it's starting to get a little dark. But, like, uh, we go over there now. Give me a cigarette. But, like, Kanye, uh, Common and shit, you know pretty he, he's a pivotal point in this far in this hip-hop thing like <laughs> he got a drain out now it's kind of disco -y and shit planet rockish but yeah you know i mean he trying to he trying to do the damn thing and shit. but I it's fuck with common i fuck with common on the same note i fuck with most deaf and tyler quality all right, all right. they all they all underestimate i ain't gonna say underrated they underestimated and yeah you know i mean they didn't sell they they didn't sell their integrity for a couple of hours man he stuck to what they did man so it become a thing of, I mean, that's the show. That's that's show you right there. If you keep your integrity, you are gonna be on the, the the B list of the industry. And I mean, you might be A list in the street, but B list in the industry. That's how shit go down. That's the fucked up part about it. You know what I mean, cause that's the nature of the beast right now. The motherfuckers don't want knowledge of that shit, and that's some corny ass shit. But man, it's like, look, homes, like motherfuckers. They just be on some other shit. Yeah, you know I mean, you hear motherfuckers now. You catch motherfuckers in a the battle. They talking about they got money to pay off the judge. They get bought. I mean, well, come on, man. These niggas had the same jeans for four days, homie. Huh? They talking about they got Bentleys and coops and shit. So has the shit become more fiction in fact now? Is that exactly. the problem? It's fi niggas is real fictitious, man. So is that the problem with hip hop right now? It's become more fiction in fact, like. I don't know, man. I don't really fuck with the South too tough, cause to me the shit they really on. I only is fuck like with a couple of down south niggas, homes. And and for real, feel if it ain't if it ain't Ludacris, Trick Daddy, BG, Scarface. I mean, I, even on the stretch, I fuck with you, but I can't relate to. You know what I mean, the diamonds and shit. But when they talk that, when they get to these street shit, cool. You know what I mean. Otherwise, then I, don't, I don't really bang with the South too much, man. I can dig it. To me, it seems like motherfuckers is doing shit that the motherfuckers up north have already done. Like, we already had the whole front. Like, the fronts was one thing. When motherfuckers started just doing grills, no teeth, but just shit in their mouth, I really couldn't fuck with that too I mean, tough and shit. Then, then, like, all right, on that note, as far as, like, that bandwagon shit, man, you got all these motherfuckers that pop up out of nowhere all of a sudden on the East Coast. All these, all of a sudden, gang members. Come on, man. Like, or the whole Bloods and Crips thing? Uh, that shit. I yeah, mean, look, leave that to the real Bloods and Crips on the West Coast. The Midwest. You know what I mean, it's the, the Southwest. Leave that to them motherfuckers, man. Like, motherfuckers yeah, I think that shit growing because motherfuckers are just fan oriented. Well, like, yeah, you got motherfuckers that been in, like, they've been around for years, and all of a sudden, they pop up with this blood shit. Man, this shit didn't get you murk, bro. This ain't no put a rag in your motherfucking pocket and they call yourself a blood. What did you do to earn that rag, man? You ain't. You got some fake ass dudes, man. Yeah. And, and people ride with that shit like it's cool, cause this ain't a fashion statement. This is a way of life to these motherfuckers. You get rocked over that shit. Like I heard some more was telling me out in Jersey, like the initiation was a motherfucker to beat up a bum in the park or some old bullshit. <laughs> yeah, like you know, park. that's kind of like that street punk type shit. Or you know, you beat up old people and harass old ladies yeah, man, for their like, groceries and shit. Kill a motherfucker, man. 
Yeah. Or, 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 or get jumped in and not even, not swing back. Just get fucked up by like 10 motherfuckers for like See, 5 minutes. Yeah, that was the thing too. Like, they used to pimp motherfuckers. Like, I remember when I was younger in L.A., that was the thing. Motherfuckers used to have to... Like, it, you, you had to defend yourself because the motherfuckers really was out there. They was kicking your ass. The whole thing was to test your, your, your nature. Like, if you was either, if you was about what the fuck, if you had belief in what the fuck you it was, was that you was into, whether or not you was going to stand up for yourself, the motherfuckers would have to rumble and if you get sucker punched. Even the chicks, like, chicks to get jumped on and shit, they would have to rumble other chicks and it wasn't like no... You know, we're going to take you sweet. Like, they love you. They care for you. But look, you're trying to get down. And, I mean, you're going to fight for this belief that you in. So. What's that, man? Like, that bandwagon shit, that, that dick, that ball clapping shit. Man, do your own thing, man. Stop riding everybody's dick, man. Like, that shit is just, I don't know, man. The, the current state of events, man, is, is, is going down the toilet. That shit is, right now, it's a circle in the drain, man. That's all that shit is doing, man. That's just... Circling the drain right now. That shit crazy. That shit corny. But see, this shit not. It's, it, and you gotta figure it's bigger than rap music because it actually extends itself into like the communities, motherfuckers living in day to day and shit. Like that's what you really seeing. Everybody really being blood. Cause they guy said that motherfuckers is really just Lil Wayne fans and shit. So like that on shit, that man, shit, they like, see Lil Wayne rocking his like, red rag and like like Boogie Man. Like you know, I love him to death. And he but he's a real Lil Wayne fan. He been rocking with Lil Wayne since Lil Wayne was eleven. You got motherfuckers right now. Did a boogeyman pull out some old Lil Wayne shit? You got people now that don't know what the fuck that is. You know what I mean? You got bandwagon people that like rock that, with... Like that, the block is hot. Yeah, they, they rock with Lil shit. Wayne because he popular now. What about when nobody heard about him? Kyle got tapes. He got shit of Lil Wayne before CDs came out. He got real shit. He's a real fan. And he's the only person I consider a real Lil Wayne fan and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But, I mean, like right now and shit, I can't, I can't do the... I can't do the um, niggas in the top ten, man, because it just, it just, it just, shit seems so sweet right now. Motherfuckers is, I mean, it's, it's making me diabetic right now. Motherfuckers is too sweet with this shit. I mean, I mean, y'all ain't showing no kind of struggle. I mean, I, mean, I like, like I got it's motherfuckers in the game. Like, take Jim Jones. Like, actually, actually, Jim Jones. That motherfucker, that's he won't lie. He said, man. I mean, fuck it, Long John's and shit, fuck a button-up shirt, nigga, like, we keep it gully, like, real rap, man, like, this is, just cause you get money and shit don't mean you can't be on, you can't do the same shit you used to do. But see, he on the rock star thing, like, Jim Jones, I'm a 50-50 with Jim Jones, like, he alright, he got that whole New York Bloods thing and all of that shit, but I like. His, his interviews is some of the realest shit, like, they, they some of the realest shit, man, like, his. Alright, so can we put him in that category? It's probably one of the motherfuckers that everybody kind of sleep on. Like, motherfuckers know yep. about him. Motherfuckers know about him. Motherfuckers sleep on him. But if you if you really look at his interviews, and I'm not... And, and hold on. And let me get this straight. I'm not saying Jim Jones and Associates. I'm saying Jim Jones, just him. His interviews, man. Read them Jones. Listen to them Jones, man. Look at, like, all that shit, man. Like, he, that's... That's a motherfucker to let you know, cause it's a struggle out here, man. We got money, we live in life like rock stars, but niggas is struggling. Got bills, you know what I'm saying? He might talk like glitz and grammar and shit, but no, look at him, man. Look at how this nigga talk. He ain't forget where he came from. He ain't forget what made him him. Mm. All these other motherfuckers really acting like they forgot. And I truly think they forgot. Until they, I mean, they can say, oh, I can go in this hood. Yeah, you going in the hoods where you've been at before. He was raising, cause I can walk through any hood, home. You know what I'm saying? I'm like a, a social chameleon, nigga. I can fit into any hood, homes, and 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 do what I gotta do to come the fuck up, home. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers are struggling everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You got motherfuckers in the hood that's geniuses, man. Well, and they'll, they'll, awesome. ne they'll never get a shot because this shit is so commercialized, and and this shit is so much of basically niggas is bitches. I mean. Diamonds are girls' best friend. You got grown ass men this this basing their whole status on how much money they spent, how much how much shit they got, how much money they spent on the shit they got. They always said in history the motherfuckers fucking like that. The man. aristocrats and all that always had them little parties where they would get together and dress up like women and like sleep bitches. with men and shit. Like, you know, like bitches and shit. So man. they would I mean, say. These motherfuckers is they they, they they showing you a, they showing you what happens when you compromise your integrity. And that's how I look at the top ten. They're gonna show you what happens when you compromise your integrity. 
we need the hard niggas, but at the same time, the industry not trying to sign on. It's like motherfuckers yeah. get so.